Where are you? <laughs> that's, the, that's the first one that comes to mind. I am so sorry. Hi, I'm Phineas. I'm here to play a game of song association with L. Basically, I'm gonna get given a word and I'll have 10 seconds to sing that word in a song. I'm probably like, like arrogantly excited about this. But before we get started, you can check out my new album, Blood Harmony, after you finish this video on Spotify or Apple Music or right here on YouTube. Do you have any vocal warm -ups? No. Friend. Um. Can we still be friends? I like that song, it goes, And I heard about your mama, Did she get that job she wanted? That one, or? You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Play. It's cheating a little bit, but I would do, um. Too shy to say, but I hope you stay. Don't hide away. Come out and play. Which is a, a song I helped write. You know what the other one would be? Swinging in the backyard, pull up in your fast car, whistling my name. Open up a beer, take it over here, play a video game. I'm in his favorite sundress, watching me get undressed. Take that body downtown, honey. Love. Must be love on the brain. I just saw some live performance of Rihanna singing Love on the Brain on like an award show the other day. It was like so gangster. She's just like throwing her arms up and like just killing it. We always go into it blindly. I needed to lose you to find me. This dancer was killing me softly. I needed to lose you to love me. To love, love me. To love, love me. To love me. I needed to lose you to love me. Sang off key in my chorus, cause it wasn't yours. It's a really good song. That's a really good song that I didn't write a single word of. I just helped on the production of that song. Kiss. Cause your kiss, your kiss is on my list. Isn't it, isn't it list or is it lips? I feel like it's list. Started out with a kiss. How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. Now I'm falling asleep and she's calling a cab and he's having a smoke and she's taking a drag. Oh God, Mr. Brightside. It's like the best song. I watched some like poll thing, like what's like the modern Bohemian Rhapsody and it was like all of these songs like, you know, battle royaling into basically just Mr. Brightside because it's so just like unbelievable. Truth. I put the thing in single. Um, what, what's the, that I remember like every part of Truth Hurts except the part where she says Truth Hurts. Where does she say Truth Hurts in that song? Do you know what I'm talking about? And the Minnesota Vikings. Truth Hurts means something more exciting. So good. Bad. Um. Cause I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm really, really bad. The whole world's up to my love, no, 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 no. Who's bad? Dun, 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 I want your love and I want your friends. You and me could have a bad romance. I want your love and all your love is friends. You and me a bad romance. Oh, 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 caught up in a bad romance. Ra, ra, ah, ah, that like crazy intro. So cool. I wasn't even like consciously not doing bad guy. So you're a tough guy, like a really rough guy. Never get enough guy, just always so puff guy. I'm that bad type, make your mama sad type, make your girlfriend mad type, might seduce your dad type. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Yeah. This is, this is why Billy sings those. It's better. What's the hardest, easiest thing about writing for my sister? Um, I think the hardest thing that we're challenging ourselves, you know, like we're, we never try to repeat ourselves. And I think the easiest thing is just that our chemistry with each other because we're literally like related is so um, effortless. And I don't like, we don't, there's no ice breaking ever, which is awesome. A favorite song, that I've written um, with my sister is probably the song I Love You. I think that song is gonna age really well. Fantasy. I could be a fantasy on a private island, something never happened. It's that really good Alina Baraz song. I think she's so cool. Close. Probably that really dope um, Tovlo um, Nick Jonas. 
Space was just a word made up by someone who was afraid to get too close. Ooh. I hope I hope there were high fives in the writers' room when that happened. Only. <laughs> Started out with a kiss, how did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. I'm gonna just see if I can work in Mr. Right Side to every one of these. You say I'm crazy, cause you don't think I know what you've done. But when you call me, baby, I know I'm not the only one. That song made me want to be a producer. I've told Sam that, and I've told Jimmy, who was the primary producer on that album, it just made me want to make my own records. The first song I ever really remember writing was called Reason, and I think the chorus was like, I don't need a reason, I don't need a reason. And then there was some other line that, I mean, like, I don't remember all of it, but that was the first one. That's funny that when you first write songs, like, you're, you know, I was, like, 11 or 12 years old, and you're always writing about, like, some heavy, deep stuff that, like, you know nothing about. I think the first line of that song was, like, I've been running for so long now. Which is, like, from, from where to where? You're 12 years old. Should have been, like, I've been in the backseat of my mom's van for so long now. That would have been the only authentic line. Miss. Don't waste your time on me. You already the voice inside my head. I miss you, miss you. That's a sad song. There's great, great lyrics in that song. Where are you? <laughs> that's, the, that's the first one that comes to mind. I am so sorry. So great. Tom Tom comes in that song like he was on a balcony and he and he and he jumped off the balcony onto the song. Like that's how heavy he comes into that song. And meanwhile, Mark is just in the song like. Hello there. And then Tom just <laughs> like drop kicks the song. Son. Um. Here comes a sun. Doo -doo -doo. Here comes a sun. I say it's all right. Beatles, man. Out. <laughs> and it's one, two, three strikes you're out at the old ball game. That's literally the first one that came into my head. It felt like an ABC point, but thank you. Higher. Abra, Abra, Cadabra. That's the first one, because he's like, uh, something desire. Uh, I got higher. That's the, that's the line. I want to reach out and grab you. That's one of those songs that I grew up listening to and being like, mm, yes. And then I didn't understand that like in the zeitgeist, it's like a lame song, but I loved it. That's the difference between like popular opinion and just like authentically listening to something. I feel like we spend so much of to our time like consuming like things with like the knowledge of like how our friends all feel about them already. People are like, dude, did you check that out? It's like not good. I don't like the finale. And you're like, oh yeah, I was terrible. Innocently consumed shit more often, like you'd probably have a more positive opinion of it because you'd form your own opinion. You wouldn't be trying to like seem cool to all your your peers, so you. Abracadabra rocks. Mine. <laughs> Mine! <laughs> Hands on your body! <laughs> that Bozzy song where he's like, I think I had too much Hennessy. <laughs> like right at the start of that song. The song is like a minute and 12 seconds long. It's so short. Yo, so, you so precious when you smile. You say mine that definitively in a hook like that. You own that word. Eyes. No fair, you really know how to make me cry when you give me those ocean eyes. I don't really listen to radio ever, so the first time I ever heard a song like out somewhere was at a, a, a yogurt place. And the woman was like, sir? And I was like, no pictures, please. And she was like, you have to pay. I'm kidding, I didn't, I didn't say no pictures. I was like, do you want a picture? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I want to thank Elle for having me on Song Association. Make sure to subscribe if you're on YouTube.